This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how we can generate the summary of a research paper using OpenAI APIs. Basically the text completion API. Okay. So there are some examples on how you can generate a summary. Okay. So for example, here you have your uh, summarize for a second grader and here you have the code example of how you can uh, generate that summary. So I'll be making use of uh, one such prompt to generate the summary. So for this first what I have to do is that I have to create an API key over here. So I have to create a secret key and I have to uh, I'll copied this key into this uh, JSON file over here. And uh, basically I'll be reading that key over here. Okay. So let's uh, get into this uh, collab notebook. So first I need to install the open AI uh, library. That is what I've done over here. So once install the open AI library, since I am processing a PDF file to read the PDF file, this paper, basically I am making use of pi mu PDF. So I'm installing that package as well. Then I'm reading the open API key from this JSON file over here, right? And then what I do is that I import OpenAI, I import the pi mu uh, PDF library over here, and then I open the PDF file. Okay, so that is what I do over here, right? Uh, my idea for summarization was I wanted to generate the summary of each paper, each page in this particular research paper, and then from that uh, summary I will again give it to the OpenAI to generate uh, another summary. Okay, so my idea of a document summary is like summary of individual pages, which is then uh, fed to, you know, get the final summary. That is the idea. So what I do over here is that, uh, you know, I read page by page of this document. I get the text of this particular page over here. And to generate a summary, all I have to do is that I have to create this prompt where you have the text of that page. And then I have to just add this particular instruction in the end, which is TL uh, semicolon DR colon. Okay. So if I put this uh, uh, text with the text, I attach this particular prompt. Okay. And this is now my prompt text. And then I can call the open AI, uh, your uh, text completion API. Now the text completion API takes these parameters. One is the model. So I am using the text DaVinci. Uh, 003 the latest version model over here right the prompt is your text plus the prompt okay that is your prompt and then there are certain parameters like temperature max tokens uh, top p frequency penalty presence penalty okay so once i make this api call i get a response okay and from that response i can get the text which is my summary okay so this is a prompt for summarization okay tldr Okay. So what are these parameters like uh, temperature, max tokens? Okay. So if you go to the API reference, you have these things available over here. So the prompts to generate completions for encoded as a string array of strings, that is your prompt. Okay. Then you have uh, your suffix uh, that comes after a completion of inserted text, uh, basically max tokens. Uh, this is the token count of prompt plus max tokens cannot exceed the model's context length, which is typically 2048 a newer model supports 4096 then you have sampling temperature higher values means the model will take more risks so what they are saying is that uh, try 0.9 for more creative applications and zero for ones with a well-defined answer okay then there is top p which is like alternative to sampling with temperature called nucleus sampling so here the idea is that model considers the results of the tokens with top p probability mass so 0.1 means only tokens comprising the top 10 uh, prob percent probability mass are considered. Okay. So what they are saying is you, uh, you can change uh, one of these top P or temperature and not both. Okay. Similarly, there are other parameters over here. So uh, that is what is your, uh, I'll put the reference of this. You can read uh, from here. Okay. So what I'm doing over here is for every page, I am generating a summary. Okay. And I'm just appending that summary into a summary list over here. Okay. And once I, uh, then what I do is that I just concatenate the summaries over here for each of the page. Okay. And the summary looks like this. 
Okay, so it says that this paper proposes a new network architecture, the transformer based solely on the attention mechanisms which improve machine translation, okay, quality while uh, being more parallelizable and less uh, time to requiring less time to train. And basically, it has now generated a summary for the entire paper. Okay, so what I thought is that since I have generated a summary for each page, okay, uh, and what if I give this summary again to the uh, OpenAI uh, text DaVinci model to see what is the summary generated from this kind of meta summary or summary of summaries, right? This is page summary. Now I, I'm going to a document level summary. Okay. So here what I do is that I uh, again to this summary text, which I have got over here, I am adding the prompt TLDR. Okay. And I'm calling the OpenAI completion create with this particular prompt. The model is text DaVinci. Okay. So this is the final summary which has been generated from the uh, response. Basically, the response will have the text which is the summary. So this is the summary. Okay. This paper presents a new architecture, the transformer, which relies on attention mechanism instead of recurrence and is more parallelizable. Experiments on two machine translation tasks show that the model achieves superior results, improving over the existing results by two blue points. So it contains an encoder and decoder stack with multi-head self-attention mechanisms and position-wise fully connected feed-forward networks. Attention heads in the encoder self-attention layer have learned to perform different tasks related to the structure of the sentence. So this is the summary which has been generated. Okay. So how does the response object look like? Okay. So this is how the response object looks like from which I have extracted the text over here, which is your summary. Right. So this is how it looks like. And the thing is that over here, uh, it also says like the prompt had 1262 tokens, uh, whereas your result had 108 tokens. So here you can uh, specify that in the result, what is the max number of tokens that you require in the completed text? Okay. So the idea here is that OpenAI uh, model takes every uh, particular task, NLP task, as a text completion task. And depending upon the prompt, okay it generates various, uh, you know, results. For example, if you go to the examples, you have some things like uh, even sentiment uh, analysis, okay, for which the prompt will be something like classify the sentiment in these tweets and then uh, tweets, and then you have your uh, sentences. Okay. So that is how uh, OpenAI works, right? So this is how I have generated a summary for a particular research paper. Okay. Now there was another example over here also, which talks about summarize for a second grader. So I thought, let me try that. So for that, what I have to do is that uh, I have to actually change the prompt now. Okay. So what I do is that here I have changed the prompt. Summarize this for a second grade student. Okay. And the text for every page of this particular paper. Okay. And then I get the summaries for each of these pages and I join them. And this is the summary which I get, which is you know, scientists have created a new type of network architecture called the transformer uses attention mechanisms instead of recurrence and convolutions to help machines understand and translate language. Experiments have shown this model to be faster and more accurate. So this is a different style of uh, generating the summary compared to the previous one. Right. So uh, then what I said was that, okay, fine. I've got the uh, summary for, you know, for a second grade student for each page. Now I will um, from this, uh, I have uh, kind of concatenated for each page, right? Now I will send this again to this model with the same prompt to see what is the summary which has been generated. Okay. And this is the summary which has been generated. Scientists have been looking for ways to make computers understand language better. They have created a model called transformer that uses attention mechanisms and is able to translate quickly and accurately. This model has been tested on two machine translation tasks and found to be more accurate and faster than existing methods. It also works well for English constituency parsing. So this is the final summary which has been generated. Okay. So this is a way of generating summaries from say research papers from any kind of text. Uh, so by change uh, either using TLDR uh, prompt or, you know, by using the explain to a two year old prompt, you can actually generate summaries. Okay. Now, how can this model be improved? There are different ways of improving this model. Either you can fine tune open AI model. Uh, to improve your summaries. Okay. Or what you can do is that uh, you can, uh, you know, depending upon how text is read from here, 
right from this paper you can do some processing such that you can do section by section summary for example i want a summary for introduction i want summary for background i want a summary for model architecture so i can do some text pre processing on the pdf text to and then send it to this particular open ai uh, api and i can then generate better summary so different kind of experiments can be performed to uh, you know get summaries again the question of how do you evaluate summaries is quite subjective uh, if ground truth is there probably something like a blue score but otherwise how do you evaluate summaries is quite subjective but this is a way of actually generating summaries and this text can be any text you can um, scrape text from a html page and then you can send that text to this api right and you can generate summaries couple of things to be noted over here is that in open a uh, open ai apis it is actually charged okay so initially they give you a credit of they'll give you a credit of close to 18 dollars right uh, which is during the trial period and after that you will be charged for uh, your usage and here is a pricing right so what they're saying is that uh, these are the various models available for text this thing so you have ada babbage curie and davinci this is the most powerful this is the fastest right and the charges are number based on number of tokens so it is like uh, 0.02 dollars right for 1000 tokens okay so here they say that uh, this paragraph is 35 tokens over here so it is based on the uh, number of tokens in text based on that they charge the usage okay now if you want to do training then the charges are different for these uh, models that is what they have shown over here after training usage it is like this right these are the charges and if you want to generate embeddings the charges are different over here right so this is about the charges but they initially give you uh, you know 18 dollars credit for you to experiment and once it exhausts you will be charged based on the tokens and based on your usage so it's quite simple to use um, the api is quite straightforward you can actually they have given a lot of examples over here uh, for different uh, tasks so you can try out them i will also be making videos on some of the other tasks over here for some of the use cases so this was a short video on uh, making use of open ai uh, text completion api to do summarization on a research paper okay so i am not uh, talking about over here the accuracy of the summarizations or something but it is just an example of how you can perform summarization it can be improved through different means I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. I'll be putting the link 